The overall focus of the summer has been to keep the creative flame alive despite these challenging times. So we commissioned two Texas-based artists to create new work that's site-specific to the building, really making what would normally be inside the Moody available to the public outside. I think that's something that I really enjoy about working at the Moody, is that the Moody takes challenges, but is able to turn them into opportunities. Ganzier is an artist who moved to Houston about a year ago from Cairo, and part of our goal with the Window Series this summer was to support Texas-based artists during this time of uncertainty. When I was creating the piece, first and foremost, I was thinking about how to respond to the pandemic. And the second thing was that I really wanted to be very specific to the building, to the location where it is. It basically is a metaphor for community coming together, society coming together to just work together. So in support of the Moody's mission of fostering interdisciplinary conversation, we invited the outspoken Bean, who's a spoken word artist, to come and make new work in response to that piece. It's the crown and the thorns, to be hated and adorned. Actually, what's happening internally is really more interesting. My black is a paradox, cauldron, calling the kettle in the pot, Negro. Y'all know I know my black. And then for the second artist, I thought, well, we have something very direct, so maybe we can find an artist who works in a slightly different vein and a different style. You know, I was really interested in somehow creating a play between the architecture and also this opaque and transparent vinyl, which, you know, I found really beautiful. It's always a great challenge for me to have a project that pushes me out of my comfort zone, that lets me explore new materials and kind of see how I can translate the way I think usually in paint and on campus, how I can kind of translate that to a new stage. I think Aaron Curtis's work is really inviting and successful because it speaks to this time in which we're returning to nature. And it seems very timely that her celebration and her vision of nature comes through her public art, and we hope that visitors to campus will enjoy that. We're delighted to be able to collaborate with Open Dance Project and inviting them in to respond to Aaron Curtis's work. It'll be the first performance that they do after a hiatus during the time of COVID. And it's been really exciting to be able to commission a new work from them that is joyful and celebratory and collaborative with visual art. With public art, generally speaking, I do like that everyone gets to experience it, even those who do not necessarily go out to seek art. You know, I'm not headed to the gallery to see art, but art is just sort of there. Because at the end of the day, what makes the art is that interaction between viewer and the artwork itself. What we're doing this summer is an argument for the importance of the arts during difficult times. And so inviting innovators in to make work and giving new platforms despite the challenge of this global shutdown is a really important role that the Moody can play and that the arts more broadly can play.